Hey guys, it's your girl Corey coming back at you once again. Now who doesn't like waffles? Most of us have a waffle iron sitting in our kitchen somewhere if it's in storage or just sitting on the shelf. Luckily mine's sitting on my shelf because I use it often. Now today we're going to spice up things for your waffle iron. Regular waffle, which I'm going to be using Aunt Jemima. We're going to do some banana nut waffles. Yes, not just your ordinary waffle, some banana nut waffles. The nut is going to be almonds and, of course, the banana. So the products that you want is your pancake mix, waffle mix. This is a pancake mix, but on the side it shows the directions for the waffle mix. And you want to follow the instructions for this. Mine's called for water and oil, um, so I have the oil, and I have the water. Now what you need also is your banana, your nut of choice, I'm choosing almonds, I got these from the store, these are, yeah, almonds. <laughs> some cinnamon, some vanilla extract. And a cup to, you know, mix everything in. And then, you need something to hammer your nut down so it won't be big chunks, if you desire that. <laughs> and then, of course, your syrup, or you could do some whipped cream. So, stay tuned if you want to see what to do. Okay, so first what you want to do is make sure that your waffle iron is already heating up. Now you want to take whatever nuts of choice, and if you want to um, break them into pieces, then do this step. So I got about maybe like 10 almonds here. You want to use like either a paper towel or some kind of like wax paper or something. Fold it over and then take something hard or like even just like I'm using a spoon and just you know crunch down on it like that if you have one of those hammer things then that's good see Or oh, if you have a real hammer, <laughs> that's even better. Let's see. Look. See? Even better. Depending on how small you want it to be. But see? Kids don't try that at home. <laughs> now you want to just put that off to the side. Now for the banana part, you just want to take a banana, depending on how many servings you have. That's what you want to go by. So just, you know, cut into little pieces. Maybe half a banana, put that off to the side. Now for your waffle mix, you want to use the instructions, like I said, that's on the box. So I usually eyeball it, because I make a lot of waffles. You want a little drop of oil. Mix it. You want to add your cinnamon. See? 
Stir that in. Your vanilla, only a drop of vanilla. Cause you know one, vanilla is expensive. And two, a drop of vanilla is just a fine. Now, you wanna add your bananas. Mix that in. Now, some of your nuts. Drop some of that in. And you want to let that sit maybe for like a minute so it can all settle in. Now since you already heated it up, depending on which one you have, mine's go up to four. I have it between the three and the four. And you just want to wait for the ready light. But my only thing is, a lot of people go by the ready light. I think the ready light is for when it's heated up. You know, you can't really, like, you know, when you put it in, you close it, and then it's, like, ready again. It's not necessarily ready, so you just got to know for yourself. So, anyway, it's already heated up. You want to spray non-cooking spray. Or, if you, could, if you prefer, you could just put butter. Now, just pour your mix. And you don't want it a lot to overflow because it will pour out. So just enough to fill the holes. And then what I like to do is just, you know, maneuver it around. Like that. And then close it down. Halfway through, you want to flip it if yours turn. Now your waffle is done. Take it out. Look at that. Now what you could do is put your bananas, if you want more, you know, just put them down. Add your whipped cream. If you choose whipped cream, if you choose syrup, then do that. But I'm going to do whipped cream. Now I'm going to sprinkle a little nuts. And there we have it. Doesn't that look so good? Like, yo. Yeah. <laughs> For that recipe and more, check out my food blog at viviteats.blogspot.com. I'll also be having pictures and, you know, more recipes, tips, tricks, ideas, suggestions, the whole nine. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. It's your girl, Corey. Peace.